Lucas Media. So, of course, the Dallas Cowboys did it again. They got they lost to the Green Bay Packers. Not only did they lose, but they got blown out. Don't let the score for people who didn't watch the game. Don't let the score fool you. Don't let Dax Prescott's stats fool you. The game was pretty much over going into halftime. The game was so bad that Terrence Crawford, who was a Green Bay Packers fan, was taunting Earl Spence, who is a Cowboys fan, and Earl's also even fought at uh, one of the Cowboys facilities in Frisco, Texas. Terrence Crawford writes, quote, Ooh, we, this game looking like me and Earl Spence. They must have injuries. That's why we winning, huh? And of course, this comes, he's trolling Earl Spence due to Earl Spence recently having cataract surgery or cataract surgery on his eye. Now, the Packers are moving now to face the 49ers in the, the divisional playoffs. And like Earl Spence, the Cowboys, they got to regroup. I'm going to be honest. It started at the top. Jerry, you're going to have to step. You're going to have to step aside, man. You can still be the owner or whatever. But, and there's rumors about Bill Belichick. People want him to be there. Well, Jerry going to have to step aside in order for that to happen because... He got his hand into the pot. So it started, the blame starts with him. Then we got to go down to Mike McCarthy. I mean, he has won 12 games for the last several years. But, you know, you win 12 games, you don't win the playoffs. This is not like you coaching the Jaguars or something. This is the Dallas Cowboys, America's team, right? And then Dak, I don't know. I was I was, <laughs> I was talking to T-Way earlier, T-Way Sports and Culture earlier about this. Y'all gonna have to trade him or something because he's he's due for a huge contract extension, but he is who you think he is. Now he's a he's a heck of a quarterback, but he's not going to win a game. He did it last year, he did it this year, and it happens over and over again. And when they and when somebody show you something, you gotta believe it. I mean, so y'all better trade for my Bears or something and get that number one pick. Maybe y'all going to have to offload, give us C.D. Lamb and Troy Pollard and a couple of future first round picks. And then I don't know. Maybe y'all y'all going to have to trade Dak, Dak Prescott somewhere else. But it, it's getting bad. I feel bad for the Cowboys fans because every year all you hear is, man, this year is going to be our year. And year after year after year, the Cowboys fans are disappointed. I mean, it's been since like 1995 since they really had some real waves. So, this is another year. Yeah, Jerry, network is going up, but what, what, you making all this money, but y'all not winning. But my personal opinion, he needs to step down from the GM role. Let Bill Belichick come coach the team. Let him have full control. I know that's hard, Jerry. You can still do your radio shows or whatever, but you're going to have to take a back seat. You know, even with Dak. All my Cowboys fans, do y'all think he should be the quarterback? I mean, y'all let Zeke go. It might be time to rebuild, man. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.